What's going on guys, Wesley back. And today guys, I have all the working glitches after the December 19 patch. So if you appreciate details like that, I also have the patch notes in the description below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see all the latest and greatest glitches and make sure you like this video if it was helpful. And with that, let's get into the video. So you may or may not be aware of the original acquisition stash glitch. I will explain that real quick for those who are not, but essentially you would fill up your rucksack full with whatever items they can be garbage, and then you would craft a schematic. So you'll see me actually do it here. When I click this, it actually replaces that item. However, when I go to my acquisition stash, you'll notice that it's plus one. It has increased by one. And that is because that item that was in my inventory got sent to my acquisition stash and essentially bypassed whatever code, you know, uh, that they had to limit your acquisition stash to 10. Now, if you combine this with the duplication glitch, I've noticed a lot of the times when I extract, I'm able to just throw items directly into my acquisition stash, even though I'm above 10. So make sure you check out that video in the description below and do that along with this But essentially guys the original acquisition stash also still works So if you do these two things in tandem, I've seen people go as high as 200 for their acquisition stash So make sure that you're doing both of these things in tandem and you're filling up your acquisition stash as much as possible We have no idea if they're gonna clear all items that are above 10 or if they're just going to allow people to uh, Essentially use them up and, and just limit it to 10 in the future. So Let's get into the video. So first and foremost, I highly suggest that you guys go check out the duplication glitch video and make sure that you combine that with this glitch because it's imperative that your gun be as powerful as possible no matter where you're doing this Outlast contract. Now if you have a flawless crystal, things of that nature, make sure that you duplicate those first because what you want to use for this glitch is obviously a very, very upgraded weapon. And I would highly suggest doing this glitch in tier two. So once you've grabbed your Outlast contract, go ahead and make your way over to that area with the given weapon in which you want to max out your levels on. And what you want to do first is activate PND. So you want to activate the device which starts the actual contract. Next, you want to quickly go to the edge of the zone and go in and out. And you'll see here I get attacked by zombies. You need to do this quickly, but you want to make sure that you're going in and out very quickly. So go ahead and get up till around 15 percent i would highly suggest that now i'm not 100 percent sure if you can just sit in the zone till 15 i did see someone go in and out so if you guys want to test it out and update in the comments below let me know but once you've gotten up to 15 i would suggest like 17 18 percent personally uh you want to go ahead and let it fully run out now you'll see here i am not very prepared for the zone but go ahead and run around until it gets to zero percent and don't go back into the zone now once that is done and it's down to zero, you wanna go ahead and hold whatever button on your console or your PC cancels the contract. You can find that on your map menu, so go ahead and open up your map and cancel it like I did. Now at this point, the glitch is completed. Here are some tips that will help you survive and also prepare for what you need on weapon level. So number one, make sure that you stick to whatever area the Outlast contract was in and go ahead and find a good place in which to stand to fight the zombies. You'll notice here, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed because they're spawning from the left and the right. Obviously with a fully upgraded weapon, it's not really an issue. However, let's see me in a better spot. So you'll see I'm in a better location at this point. You want to make sure that you play these spawns to your advantage. You know, you want to make sure that you're in a spot in which these spawns will essentially feed the zombies in a straight line to you. And you'll see me go over to the right in a minute. And the reason for this is these spawns obviously aren't supposed to be pumping out this many zombies, but they're pumping them out from the Outlast contract. This is a glitch that has to do with the Outlast contract. So just make sure you're playing that to your advantage. And then the only other tip that I would give is if you have the pet dog item, make sure that you're using that dog bone because it makes your life a lot easier and certain outlast contracts you can actually sit there and let your pet dog do the whole thing and then use your healing aura to heal up your dog and get your weapon xp that way make sure you hit that subscribe but let's get into some of the requirements of this glitch so the three requirements for this glitch are number one you have a wonder weapon i in this case have the scorcher so you want to go ahead and use that case and equip that weapon in your second slot as you see here the second requirement of the glitch is that you have the juggernaut kill streak. So go ahead and throw that onto the ground. Now the third requirement and the last requirement of this glitch is that you have a legendary ether tool. 
Now the first step to this glitch is that you call in the Juggernaut killstreak. You're gonna need to use this to your advantage. So make sure that you have that Wonder Weapon, like I said before, in your secondary slot. So we have both items in our first and secondary slot. You wanna go ahead and drop both items and then go ahead and grab your Juggernaut killstreak. Now once your Juggernaut kill streak runs out, you're going to notice once you get out of the kill streak, you're going to have a grayed out scorcher. Now this is key. This is very important to this trick. What you want to do now is apply the legendary ether tool to your weapon. But you may notice that I don't have that option in my inventory, which is weird. And that's due to the fact that this is a glitch and your gun you can see down there in your inventory is gold still. But on the bottom right of the screen, you can see that it's gray. So when I drop it, it looks gold. Let's go ahead and pick it back up. It's still gray on the bottom right. However, when I pick up the other one, you'll notice that it does have gold on the bottom right and you can see it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick back up this one from the actual glitch. So some of my friends mentioned that you can activate the ether tool or rather apply it to your weapon in inventory. I was having trouble with that. So if you do have trouble with that, drop it on the ground and then apply it to your wonder weapon. And you can also obviously upgrade it using the pack-a-punch crystal. So now you officially have the most powerful weapon in the game. You can see in the inventory, it's actually grayed out. That's how it's supposed to look. Keep in mind guys that this is a glitch, so it may not work as intended if you do a step wrong. So make sure you go back in the video and make sure that you do this right. Also important to note is that you can do this with any wonder weapon. So you can grab the ray gun for example and do this very glitch. So as I mentioned, this is a brand new method. There are some changes, so make sure that you pay attention closely. And let's get into some of the requirements. So up on your screen are the requirements for this glitch before we get into the actual steps. Obviously, you're going to need Tombstone, first of all. You also need to bring in the items that you want to duplicate, as well as gain the amount of cash in which you want in your Tombstone at the start of every game. And then lastly, you want to make sure that at the very least, you have Act 1 completed all the way until the last mission. So here I am just demonstrating if you go all the way down, the mission that you want to be on or have completed is Extraction. And I'll show you why in a second. So once you have all the requirements for this glitch, you want to go into game one with that tombstone and all the items that you want to duplicate as well as the money you want to start out with every game. And you want to go ahead and get down and die. And then you want to search for a second game. So this is where the actual glitch happens. And in a minute, I'll show you how this glitch has changed from the original method. So go ahead and find your tombstone and make sure that you pick out all the items in which you died with. Make sure that the tombstone gets fully destroyed. Once you've done that, you want to make your way over to the special x helicopter, which has to do with the mission. Now, this is unlocked again once you get the last mission in Act 1 and any time after that. So once you've actually gotten to the x guys, this is where the part of the glitch that has actually changed. And I highly suggest that you guys only do this method from now on, because again, it works for me 100% of the time. So the difference between these x and the other ones is these special x with the stars on them are mission x and they load an actual other game, a private lobby, whenever you go to them. And so you'll see here in a minute, a black screen actually comes up, and this is the point in which you need to close the game. So you'll see right here, here, the screen will turn black and I will Alt F4 since I'm on PC or if you're on PS5 disconnect your Wi-Fi quit the game if you're on Xbox simply quit the game in your Xbox menu using your Xbox button in every subsequent game that you come back you just need to repeat these steps that's it you just take that X fill it will count as X filling those items in which you took and your tombstone will also still exist in your next game the only other thing that I want to mention is if you want to go through the ether with your item still intact, all you need to do is have Tombstone die, plead for help, and then have a teammate revive you. And the next time that you exfil from the ether, you will have your Tombstone back next game. That is super important. And if the main duplication glitch, which I posted in the comment section below, whenever that gets patched, this is going to be the best way. So make sure that you bookmark this and make sure that you remember uh, what this glitch is because they clearly deprioritized it. So it's very, very easy to do. The first step that you're going to need to do is get two score streaks. Now, what I would suggest that you do is you get the cluster mine score streak because that costs 2000 and then get a juggernaut, which costs 10,000. So what you want to do, and you'll see me do it opposite here, you want to take out whatever score streak is in your hand and then at the same time pick up the other score streak. 
And essentially, all it's gonna do is copy whatever kill streak is in your inventory. So in this case, I have Juggernaut. Now Juggernaut's on the ground. Cluster Mine is still equipped, and I put that in quotes. Uh, and essentially, I've made Juggernaut cost 2,000 rather than 10,000. So again, as soon as the main duplication glitch is patched, I'm telling you guys, this is what you're gonna have to do. So make sure that you bookmark this. Essentially, all you're gonna need is an Etherblade case. Uh, you only really need to equip the ether blade, but obviously someone needs to have the case so that you can actually create the knife, right? So as soon as you get the blade in your inventory, you want to go and find yourself a refill ammo station. All right, so here we are at a resupply crate, guys, and you want to watch this part of the video very, very carefully. So I have my ether blade in my hand, right? So what you want to do first is you want to throw the ether blade and then resupply your ammo within those first three seconds. You also need to drop your ether blade in those three seconds. So you can watch it here. I'll do it at full speed and then I'll do it slow for you guys. So you saw that I dropped it and I also have one in my inventory now. So let's go ahead and watch that in slow motion. So here I go. I'm gonna throw my aether blade, right? I'm gonna resupply right here, which you just saw me do. I gain one, I drop the one that I resupplied, and then the first original one that I threw pops back up. So if you need to go back in that video and just like re-review that, just watch it in slow motion right there and you'll understand it after a couple of tries, guys. It took me a couple of tries just to do it for the first time, but what this allows you to do is you could have a team of six, for example, you can invite people to your squad, you could share it with the entire lobby, you can do whatever. You're able to sprint with a minigun. It is the coolest glitch so far. So first thing that you're gonna need obviously is Juggernaut and you wanna go ahead and throw that onto the ground now make sure you don't get downed while you're doing this glitch i went ahead and ran away for a second so that i could avoid the zombies but essentially once you've gotten your juggernaut you want to go ahead and pick that up once you've called it in and you just want to let it run out now once you've ran completely out of juggernaut and you've lost the kill streak right you've used it up you want to go ahead and just find an area in which you can go down in safely now, once you've gone down, go ahead and let yourself bleed out. Now, this is the part of the glitch where you're gonna need a companion or you're gonna need someone in the game. So they don't necessarily have to be on your team. There just needs to be someone near you who can revive you. And they're gonna go ahead and revive you. And you'll notice there's a minigun already on the ground. So once my teammate actually picks me up, you'll notice there's an actual minigun on the ground. And you can actually tell that this is glitch because when you ping it, it actually has a database name. This is not a name obviously intended to be displayed to the user. There's usually a display name if you will tied to the database name so this is clearly a glitch gun this is clearly not intended and you can actually fully sprint but there's a couple of notes that i want you guys to know that are super important number one apparently you have to get ammo from zombies so make sure that you go around while you're killing zombies and get the ammo from them number two you cannot run out of ammo i actually run out of ammo on this uh on this clip right here i'll show you right here um i run out of ammo and i actually lose the minigun so this again it's a glitched gun so make sure that you're keeping your ammo replenished make sure that you have it on hand and also number three make sure that you have another weapon in case you run out of ammo on this one or it glitches it seems to be more stable with a secondary weapon. First things first, you want to bring in whatever items that you want to duplicate into, we'll call it game one. And you want to go ahead and buy tombstone. Those are two out of the three requirements. The only other requirement is keeping one inventory slot open as you see here. Once you get those items into game one with Tombstone, you wanna go ahead and get downed. Now, I highly suggest you do, do this on the outskirts. There is absolutely no point in going to the red zone and having to go back to the red zone. So once you get downed, go ahead and give up. Now, I was with a random in this game. All you have to do is give up and then physically leave the game. If you're in solo, you wait for the plea to help timer to run out or you just leave the game. Then when you come back into, let's call it game two, you're gonna see obviously your tombstone. That is how tombstone works. Yes, congratulations. Make sure you like the video. Um, but you go back to your tombstone and you wanna pick up all of the items that you have, regardless of if you can hold them, okay? So that's super important. Pick them up and if you have to drop them, drop them. But your goal here is to destroy the tombstone. Tombstone at this point in game two does not exist. So the next step that you want to do is you want to find your way over to any exfil point. And that's super, super important. These are the only two steps in this glitch. So here I am at the exfil point, sped it up a little for you guys so you can get through it. And here's where the magic happens. Here's where the actual duplication happens. So you've picked up your tombstone, you have your items and you're extracting, right? But you wanna bring up either your menu or you want to bring up 
Uh, on PC, you would just use Alt F4 to close the game. Now on Xbox, you would bring up your menu and then you would quit the game, but you'll notice here my game freezes. That is me Alt F4ing on my PC. So you wanna make sure you quit the game as soon as you see successful Xfil, okay? Wait about a full second into seeing it and then quit your game. And here's an example of me coming back. You can see my tombstone is still there. I've already stored these things into my stash. So at this point, the glitch is done. You've clearly duplicated your items. You don't have any more steps that you have to do. But again, if you want to continue this glitch and duplicate it again and again and again, and like share the items with your friends, for example, simply bring your friends or squad up into your subsequent games where you come back and grab this tombstone. Because at this point, you don't have to keep getting 2000. You don't have to keep getting tombstone, right? You just simply need to pick up your items from said tombstone, make sure the tombstone disappears, i.e. destroyed, and then extract and quit the game when it says successful exfil. So those are all the steps in like two sentences. It's a super easy to do glitch. You can do it solo or you can do it with friends. But again, highly suggest you just do this, knock it out and share the items with your friends.